Hello everyone, welcome back to FTL. So, when we last left off, we were pretty fairly damaged. But that's okay. Sadly, we can't get to the store without having the Federation, the Rebels, not the Federation, show up and be ready to destroy us. So we're going to have to go to the next sector. Yeah. Well, Let's hope that things go well. Uh, Uncharted Nebula, I don't really want to go into a nebula again. We're going to go to the Zoltan homeworlds. This might be a bad idea, but... Oh well! Okay, let's go for this one because it reveals more locations. Yeah, this one. Oh, of course, it's an asteroid field. And we have a Zoltan. Zoltans are annoying due to the shield that they have. And we're in an asteroid field, which is going to help us get their shield taken down, I guess. But it also is quite dangerous because we possibly will be destroyed. Oh good, we, we didn't... We didn't get hit by the laser beam, which would have been really bad. Okay, the shield is crippled a bit. Okay, now that the shield is down, quickly cut through the area with this anti-bio beam. Ha! We destroyed one of their crew members! In fact, I think we might be able to take this ship without... Ooh, that's a problem. That's problems. Okay. Think, Excel. We have to make sure we don't get destroyed, but if we manage to just completely capture the ship, we're going to get so much scrap, it's going to be amazing. He got destroyed by an asteroid! Yes! Okay, so we are pretty much screwed. I'm not gonna lie. But we should be... We should be fairly fine in this asteroid field because the asteroid field does not hit us frequently enough to actually damage us or non-combat. I'm thinking though... I can't upgrade my ship because we're in danger, so... Ah, uh, there was no store revealed. We're gonna go here then. Intruders on board! No! Well, I'd say the best thing to do is open all the doors, except for the med bay and the shield room. Okay, so we know that they're in there because our engines just exploded. Now our cockpit has exploded. And now we're fighting. And our ship is going get, to get blown to pieces completely because these guys are stupid. And are just going to completely destroy the ship's systems, causing themselves and us to explode. God damn idiots. Okay, I think that's the slight problem with the intelligence of those people. They will completely make a ship explode and kill themselves. 
God darn it. Alright, I guess we're gonna start over then, and we're gonna try something slightly different. Alright, so, we're gonna go with the Federation ship again, but this time we're gonna be going with the alternate layout, which we have less crew members, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's probably a little bit more defensible. It, sadly, we have a much, much smaller med bay, which I guess is alright considering we have a little less crew members. I just, I don't know. Is this the best way for me to go? We'll find out. We have a pretty varied ship. Oh, and a distress beacon right away. Let's see what it is. So, I'm thinking... I don't remember if I said this yet, but... Hmm, I will get four fuel if I give them two missiles. I think I'll actually take that. I don't plan to use missiles too much. I'll have them online, but... I would prefer not to use them unless I really have... have to. Like, if the enemy has pretty good shields, I need to take down their shields. So, I'm thinking of going with a three-life playthrough. Mm. We can take it. Ooh, I... Oh, right, because I have a slug, I can actually see where these guys are at in their ship. That's kind of cool. So, pretty much, if I... Really? And sadly, I cannot open the doors here. This is probably a stupid idea. I'm thinking it's a very stupid idea, but it seems to have worked. At least we have our lasers online still. So yeah, three lives. If I die three times, that's going to be in the series. Continue our assault. We'll probably get more scrap out of it. There we go. It's dead. And we got seven scrap. Hey, our hull was repaired, so I guess that worked out. You took a bit of damage from something. Alternatively, if I actually beat the game, that's going to be in the series. So, we have two end of the let's play options. I kind of want to upgrade those doors, but can't really do anything about that. Okay, continuing onward. Uh, they are already showing up pretty fast. Ooh, Slugman. Nearby crash site. Hey! I got another air crew member! Awesome! It's an NG. That means we have a good guy to do repairs and someone to man the shields, which is more important. Oh, and I forgot to do that. Alrighty, we have a pretty diverse crew, which is good. It's great. Mm. There doesn't seem to be anything up this way. I'm gonna go here then. Attack the pirates! They don't seem to have a teleporter, which is great. That means I can focus on taking out their weapons first. 
without worrying about being boarded. And of course, my en my weapons would be taken out first. It's like we have the same tactic or something. But so long as I keep their weapons down to only that one weapon, they won't be able to punch through my shield to actually do damage to me. And eventually this guy is going to have to run. Hmm. You know what? I'll take this this time. I could have completely destroyed them, but... Eh, whatever. We'll jump here next, because that'll give us an idea of what's in these areas. If there's a store, that'll be decent, I guess. Though we can't really utilize the store very well. Nothing here but a jump beacon. Okay. Yep, no stores. Okay, so we'll go to the nebula next. Oh, and of course there's a really bad one. I'm glad we have an NG. Or, not an NG, a slug. Because we can see exactly where these guys are going. Actually, you're going to go in here. You here, and you here. And we'll start... doing what we can to... Get rid of all the air in the ship. Alright, Zoltan, you're gonna have to head over here to back up the NG. Neither of you are good for being in combat, but both of you together are more than a match for a single person. Also, I just realized our med bay is offline. There we go. Okay, doors, all closed. That could have been way worse. Um, let's see. Let's drop the Leto. We need to get our air back online so we can re refill our ship with air. I wonder how the air systems work on this game. Like, what is it that's actually producing the oxygen? Is there some sort of hydrogen, I mean, water electrolyzer setup? Right, you guys go get some healing done. Alright, ready to jump. We're gonna go here first. And if it looks like the rebels are gonna get here too fast, we will just go straight for the exit. If not, I think we can afford a slight detour. But not much of one. Aid the Federation ship! Rebels! They must be destroyed! they have a drone. That's going to be a problem. Okay, so the first attack will go to taking out the weapons because they have missiles which are going to punch straight through our shields, which is a big issue. And then we'll focus the dual lasers on there as well. Should bring the missiles offline. Yes, they did. Thank goodness. Next we'll take out the shield with the missile do as best we can to take one out. Ha! We shot down their drone! I didn't know you could do that! Ah, oh, there we go. Big attack. 
Got 15 scrap, great. And the Federation ship's gonna give us some help. Awesome. With that, I'm gonna upgrade these doors so we actually can force people to stay in their oxygen-deprived rooms when they board us. Like foolish, foolish idiots. And next... Let's increase the power a bit. But we won't actually have anything to spend it on. Go ahead here next. Mm, last time we did this, it did not turn out well. Let's just attack him. We don't want to deal with it. Let's see. Laser and an ion. That's not too bad, but that ion is going to cause problems for our shield. There we go. We took out... Oh no, that's not an ion. That's a that's a beam. My mistake. Well, now they don't have any weapons. I'm okay with them having the beam weapon online. That's actually not too bad. And our mega laser is gonna charge up soon enough. Hey, you keep that weapon offline. There we go. You know, they're pretty much dead. There we go. 13 scrap, a drone piece, some fuel. Ah, store! Let's see. Hmm, we could buy heavy laser, which takes a lot of power. I don't think we're going to be able to do that yet. Ion Stunner, that's... Okay, I guess. Ion Blast. Mm. This one would actually be a lot... A lot better to have. Just because we can start the fight immediately. This one is an okay thing. Page 2, they have some drones available and drone control, but we do not have enough scrap, so I think that we're just going to fix our ship. Buy a few missiles and move on. And we're going to have to go for the exit, because they're going to be there in just a couple jumps. Oh great, it's one of these. Okay, so... Let's make ourselves impervious to the heat by making it so we have no oxygen anywhere on board. We'll keep the med bay area full of oxygen. But everywhere else is going to have to go. Oh, our med bay is now offline, so it doesn't matter! Okay, he has a very interesting looking weapon. I do not want to find out what that does. Great, that's the only one that put that's online. Okay, it's just a cooler version of a double laser. Glad I decided to empty everything of oxygen. There we go. Okay, all doors close. Jumping to the exit. Hopefully there's nothing too bothersome here. Huh? Nothing at all. Um I don't need drones, so I'm gonna have to reject that offer. Well, I can wait here for a moment and get some more oxygen in our systems, and I think that I will cut the episode here. So, I hope you guys are enjoying the series still. We're on life number two out of three. 
trying out the other version of the Federation cruiser, and we are at much, we are at a much better start than we were last time we started out. So, hope you guys are enjoying. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave, and I will see you in the next episode, whenever that may be. Take care, and goodbye!